my channel guys you know it's your girl Kamisha warm heart and i must say thanks to my subscribers if you're new remember to like share comment tell a friend of a friend to like my video now you already see the title and you know february is a month of love so guess what girl in a red and something something now we have no time let's get right into the video now in today's topic and i already did my research so the topic is love versus crush and infatuation and here is the difference so in today's video i'm just gonna tell you some points of research and tell you all about now i think many people often mistake crush crush is an infatuation with love now it's easy to see how the two are mistaken for love because the feeling are so intense no but there is a difference a big difference in fact in the movies adorable couple infatuated with each other fall in love and live happily ever after right right so in real life things things to be a different uh, a little bit different right so today we're gonna talk about crushes and infatuation it actually goes hand in hand and are very similar now crush is defined as a brief but intense infatuation for someone especially someone inappropriate or untainable now infatuation is defined as an intense but short-lived passion or admire for someone or something right now unlike crush crushes and state of infatuation true love truly sees and accept their object of affection no love is an object of affection love is actually an intense feeling a deep affection love is patient love is understanding and love is forgiving love desire a deep connection while infatuation craves the physical interaction so love is a deep connection while infatuation is actually physical interaction right now first of all we're gonna go into some signs of crushes and infatuation now with crushes and infatuation the feelings come on fast so infatuation hits with an out of his world intense you saw you saw them and you knew you had to have them love at first sight so to speak so normally we say okay we love this person it come on so fast the feeling didn't grow and develop over time well which is what happened with love they were almost in sternness now infatuation is short lived so crush come and go pretty quickly usually in a matter of months love stay whether the relationship works or not the feeling are always there to some degree that is actually with love now see perfection with crushes and infatuation it is more about the ideal of the person than the person themselves maybe you think you would look great together as a couple or one or both of you have a certain status in the community or a high income the mind creates the perfect life together and the happier ever after with prince charming charming that is actually with crushes and infatuation so you have crazy uh, um, behavior so crushes can be lead 
to stalking, intense jealousy, and obsessive behavior. Sometimes the incest's intense feeling of crushes can also come risky behavior and irritant feeling. Now, crushes is also based on attraction. So, crushes are often based strictly on physical attributes since you really don't know the real person and there is nothing else to go on except what you create in your head. Now, the infatuation begins because you find them beautiful or hot and strongly desirable, desire the person. Usually, the crush is someone who is out of reach for you. Now, those are the crushes and the infatuation. Now, we're going to get down to the matter where we're going to talk about sign of love. Now, with love, the feeling lasts. So, with love, feeling may not last forever, but they do last a while, whether you stay in the relationship or not. Love that does not go away and after a couple of months or because you realize that there are flaws or look um, or look a hot mess in the morning. Now with love, accept them, flaws and all. When we truly love someone, we see their flaws and we accept them. Maybe he's a little short or she's a little chubby. But if you are in love, you don't care. With, with infatuation, these you just go away. With love, you still love the person with, um, with their flaws. Now, with love, open and honest. Love is willing to go deep. Love is open and honest. Love wants to share their hopes dreams and fears and hear about them with love only eyes for them so love only has eyes for you if you if the eyes wander then you are not in love love isn't blind to other beauty but love eyes follow their heart we are willing to sacrifice for those we love and put their wants and need before our own. Love is willing to be inconvenienced, bored, and patient for the one who means the most. Now, with love, their presence or voice bring you comfort. So seeing their face or hearing their voice can turn your whole day around. An instant improve your mood that's a true tellable of being in love. Now, with love as well, in its initial feeling, crush and falling in love are very similar. The rush of this happened in both cases. The butterflies, the feelings of pure joy at the sight of them happen in both cases. But with love, there are thoughts of future together and realistic expectation of each other. What are your thoughts on crushes and infatuation? Have you ever think about it? Hmm. Do you believe that infatuation can turn to love? Have you ever thought it was love only to realize it was a crush? I'm, I'm sure when we're growing up, we actually have crushes which we thought was love but then as we grow along we realize that crushes infatuation love they have a difference now with love you can be yourself around hey guys those are the difference between love infatuation yes so you know you got the feeling that feeling when you know you're in love so if you think you're in love just search it out see if it's a crush infatuation or it's love so guys thank you so much for coming and guess what it's a month of love so guess what's nothing but love for you guys bye bye <music>